Hi, everyone. Today's video is about most popular personality. Late Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So, let's begin, Aval Pakir Jainal Abdeen Abdul Kalam was born on October 15, 1931, to a Tamil Muslim family in the pilgrimage center of Rameswaram on Pumban Island, then in the Madras Presidency and now in the state of Tamil Nadu. His father Jainal Abdeen Marikayar was a boat owner and imam of a local mosque his mother Ashiyama was a housewife. His father owned a ferry that took Hindu pilgrims back and forth between Rameswaram and the now uninhabited Danish Kodi. Kalam was the youngest of four brothers and one sister in his family. His ancestors had been wealthy Marikayar traders and landowners, with numerous properties and large tracts of land. Marikayar are a Muslim ethnic group found in coastal Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka who claim descent from Arab traders and local women. The family business had involved trading groceries between the mainland and the island and to and from Sri Lanka, as well as ferrying pilgrims between the mainland and Pumban. With the opening of the Pumban Bridge to the mainland in 1914, however, the businesses failed and the family fortune and properties were lost by the 1920s. Apart from the ancestral home, the family was poverty-stricken by the time Kalam was born. As a young boy he had to sell newspapers to add to the family's meager income. In his school years, Kalam had average grades but was described as a bright and hard-working student who had a strong desire to learn. He spent hours on his studies, especially mathematics. After completing his education at the Schwartz Higher Secondary School, Ramanathapuram, Kalam went on to attend St. Joseph's College, Tirukkirappalli, then affiliated with the University of Madras, from where he graduated in physics in 1954. He moved to Madras in 1955 to study aerospace engineering in Madras Institute of Technology. While Kalam was working on a senior class project, the dean was dissatisfied with his lack of progress and threatened to revoke his scholarship unless the project was finished within the next three days. Kalam met the deadline, impressing the dean, who later said to him, I was putting you under stress and asking you to meet a difficult deadline. He narrowly missed achieving his dream of becoming a fighter pilot, as he placed ninth in qualifiers, and only eight positions were available in the IAF. After graduating from the Madras Institute of Technology in 1960, Kalam joined the Aeronautical Development Establishment of the Defense Research and Development Organization, by Press Information Bureau. Government of India, as a scientist after becoming a member of the Defense Research and Development Service. Kalam served as the 11th President of India, succeeding K. R. Narayanan. He won the 2002 presidential election with an electoral vote of 922,884, surpassing the 107,366 votes won by Lakshmi Sagal. His term lasted from July 25, 2002, to July 25, 2007. After leaving office, Kalam became a visiting professor at the Indian Institute of Management Shillong, the Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad, and the Indian Institute of Management Indore, an honorary fellow of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, Chancellor of the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology Thiravanam Thapur, Professor of Aerospace Engineering at Anna University, and an adjunct at many other academic and research institutions across India. He taught information technology at the International Institute of Information Technology, Hyderabad, and technology at Banaras Hindu University and Anna University. On July 27, 2015, Kalam traveled to Shillong to deliver a lecture on creating a livable planet Earth at the Indian Institute of Management Shillong. While climbing a flight of stairs, he experienced some discomfort, but was able to enter the auditorium after a brief rest. At around 6.35 p.m. IST, only five minutes into his lecture, he collapsed. He was rushed to the nearby Bethany Hospital in a critical condition, upon arrival, he lacked a pulse or any other signs of life. Despite being placed in the intensive care unit, Kalam was confirmed dead of a sudden cardiac arrest at 7.45 p.m. IST. His last words, to his aide Srijan Pal Singh, were reportedly, funny guy. Are you doing well? Following his death, Kalam's body was airlifted in an Indian Air Force helicopter from Shillong to Guwahati, from where it was flown to New Delhi on the morning of July 28 in an Air Force C-130J Hercules. The flight landed at Palam Air Base that afternoon and was received by the President, the Vice President, the Prime Minister, Chief Minister of Delhi Arvind Kejriwal, and the three service chiefs of the Indian Armed Forces, who laid wreaths on Kalam's body. His body was then placed on a gun carriage draped with the Indian flag and taken to his Delhi residence at 10 Rajaji Mark, there, the public and numerous dignitaries paid homage, including former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, Congress President Sonia Gandhi and Vice President Rahul Gandhi, and Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav. On the morning of July 29, Kalam's body, 
wrapped in the Indian flag, was taken to Palam Air Base and flown to Madurai in an Air Force C-130J aircraft, arriving at Madurai Airport that afternoon. His body was received at the airport by the three service chiefs and national and state dignitaries, including cabinet ministers Manohar Parikar, Venkiya Naidu, Pan Radhakrishnan and the governors of Tamil Nadu and Meghalaya, K. Rosaya and V. Shanmuganathan. After a brief ceremony, Kalam's body was Well, Upon arriving at Rameswaram, his body was displayed in an open area in front of the local bus station to allow the public to pay their final respects until 8 p.m. that evening. On July 30, 2015, the former president was laid to rest at Rameswaram's Pay Kurumbu ground with full state honors. Over 350,000 people attended the last rites, including the Prime Minister, the Governor of Tamil Nadu and the Chief Ministers of Karnataka, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh, Kalam received seven honorary doctorates from 40 universities. The government of India honored him with a Padma Bhushan in 1981 and the Padma Vibhushan in 1990 for his work with ISRO and DRDO and his role as a scientific advisor to the government. In 1997, Kalam received India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna, for his contribution to the scientific research and modernization of defense technology in India. In 2013, he was the recipient of the Vaughan Braun Award from the National Space Society to recognize excellence in the management and leadership of a space-related project. In 2012, Kalam was ranked number two in Outlook India's poll of the greatest Indian. Okay friends that's all for today. We'll be back again with another video. Keep supporting Real One. Be blessed everyone. Take care.